Yes, good afternoon. My name is Spencer Denyer. I'm the uh, Editor-in-Chief of um, Global Media for PSG and Head of Content for Data Centre Satellite Series. Today with me is um, Mr. Deep Singhania, who is a Country Manager and Head of Singapore for Tata Consulting Service. Uh, Tata Consulting Service. Firstly, uh, let me welcome you to Data Centre Green Tech Conference today. It's great to have you aboard and thank you. Uh, your speaker there. That's wonderful. I was, um, Looking at your title on your presentation, Save Watts and Dollars by Transforming Data Centres Green. Well, that certainly is an interesting title. Can you uh, run us through that presentation and what the key points that you think are, uh, are in there for... Uh, yes, uh, in fact, when we talk about uh, going green, you know, people are compelled to look at going green because many of the people, they think that they have to do it for their next generation because all the resources in the world are getting depleted. Many of the people who feel about that is their corporate social responsibility, they should do it. But the motivational factor behind them is most of the time is really missing. So when we talk about by going green, it's not only that uh, you can actually cause uh, or actually help to serve this cause of uh, saving the earth or its resources, but you can actually save through dollars as well which becomes a true motivator for the business guys, for the operational guys to go and look out that how, by going green, they can actually serve their immediate short-term goals as well. So that's why we thought it's very appropriate that we should keep the title by saying that we can actually save dollars. So you are not spending additional money for going green, which people feel so. They always feel that they have to spend extra dollars from the pocket and why should they do it? They should be rather serving their own yeah. interests. So here, you are going green and you are saving their your own money as well. And which uh, certainly excites people and makes them more compelled to listen to what we are talking about. No, well, it certainly does. So when you're talking about the hip pocket, then people certainly start listening. So with your presentation about going green and how we can save dollars and watts and all the rest of it, just exactly what uh, do Tata Consultancy do to help businesses um, save that money? What you know, innovations are there that you're putting forward for them? See, uh, when we look at uh, Tata Consultancy, Tata Consultancy today is one of the largest IT services player globally, operating in more than 85 countries. We started 40 years ago. Uh, we are a part of our Tata Group, which is the largest industrial group in India today, and having more than 93 companies. Tata Consultancy uh, last year has delivered more than $6 billion uh, worth of services globally uh, with the help of 145,000 people which are uh, again uh, presented uh, globally and we have more than 65 nationalities working for us. So while uh, Tata Consultancy has started as an IT services organization, uh, we just part of our heritage uh, coming from Tata as a group, we are a strong believer of research uh, and we are also a strong proponent of using innovation to serve uh, more and more uh, pressing needs in terms of yeah. social responsibility or environmental needs or at the same time serving uh, the business uh, issues as well. So when we talk about specifically in terms of IT services, Tata uh, Consultancy has gone uh, one step further of uh, providing IT services. We have also gone ahead in uh, providing software as a service. And in fact, we have gone one step further to software as a service to do something which is called as IT as a service. Now, uh, when we uh, hear the different uh, terminology and uh, methods in which going green uh, uh, as an initiative is served in IT, there are various aspects which are looked at. One immediate aspect which people look at is, can I reduce my electricity usage? That actually is reducing my carbon footprint allowing me to go free. Can I distribute my cost by going to cloud computing or software as a service? Now, TCS as an organization is now bringing more and more people together in creating this complete software as a service environment by which you don't need to replicate your infrastructure. You don't need to obviously spend that infrastructure which is not optimally used. Because if you look at uh, traditionally most of the data centers and machines today, they are, uh, their effective usage in terms of uh, productivity is 30 to 35 percent. And 60 to 65 percent is actually sitting idle. 
and unused. So when we go for software as a service, it's on demand, in serving which is happening, which is obviously uh, causing uh, and uh, serving the cause here. And at the same time, when we look at uh, research, Tata as a group has created World's fourth largest supercomputer. This is something which is uh, very interesting and quite few people don't know about. Well, they one of them. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, this supercomputer, in fact, is helps in cloud computing as well as providing a very uh, powerful on-demand computing facility to the organization worldwide. And who are the ones who are using it? They are uh, the weather bureaus, the large scale animation and design firms, the engine design uh, which are using in the field of uh, fluid dynamics or aerodynamics, or creating large financial models. So uh, this is uh, how DCS is trying to do that. The next step that uh, for causing the immediate green energy movement, what DCS is doing, we are also uh, we believe in uh, walking the talk, yeah. walk the talk. So most of the DCS facilities today, which are coming up, are LEED certified. They are uh, platinum certified uh, by the uh, U.S. Uh, Green Building Council, and platinum is the highest level that you can achieve. Many of them are platinum certified and few of them are gold certified, which are looking at the overall aspect of creating green buildings. So uh, while we are doing that for our delivery centers as well as our data centers, we are also working very closely with our customers to reduce their server footprint by using consolidation and virtualization and technologies, which again are helping them to achieve their green energy.